My name is Kevin McGlasson and today I'm going to show you the new interactive display that we've created. It's built on an SOC platform which stands for System on Chip or Software on Chip and we have our simple and easy to use interactive whiteboard software pre-installed on that chip. And what that basically means is that you can walk into uh, a meeting room without your PC and you can just press the on button and within three or four seconds your interactive whiteboard software will load up. Simple and easy to use, just six buttons on the floating toolbar, different colours, different thicknesses and then you can just easily start annotating and drawing your diagrams. You can move the floating toolbar, you can make notes around everything that you're creating. We can then share, save and distribute that content very simply out. So I can go to the screen button down here and I can go to capture all of the content that's on this particular page. I can then connect a uh, Android device and this is uh, a nice bit of software called the Android Agent and it allows me to connect wirelessly to the screen which means that my captures can now be sent to all the agent devices uh, that have been connected. The other thing that I can do is send from here to all the devices. So image, music, videos and documents. Uh, another way of getting content in, apart from the agents, is via the USB key. I can plug that into the front of the board. And as you can see, I've got the directories uh, on my USB key here. Uh, I have a Samsung folder, which I've got some content in, which I'm going to present to you. I've got uh, an image. Uh, I've got a PowerPoint. And I've also got a video. Um, and this is a, a, a desktop platform that allows me to present all of these different types of content. So PDF, Word, uh, PowerPoints, images and videos. I can then move the PowerPoint over here and then I can also bring in a video at the same time. And this is a really good feature because, you know, as everybody knows, uh, switching between a PowerPoint and a video can be sometimes be problematic. And here, you know, even if I wanted to get rid of this, I could close this down and I can open it up very, very quickly without disturbing the flow of the presentation. Um, I can then also pause the video um, and then also combine that with some of my annotations. So the ability to annotate over the top, capture that content, save it back down to the USB key. Or we could send it to the agent devices uh, across the network or what most people would use uh, is the email functionality. So click on screen, click on send email and what it will do is it will then attach all the pages that you've created uh, and send that to an email. So very simple, easy to use, walk in, press that on button, plug in a USB key, uh, do some simple annotations and then capture, share and distribute that information afterwards. We also have uh, the ability to get rid of the remote control and uh, one of the settings there is the quick menu button on the pen tray. Uh, once I press that, I can then change the source. So I can now select HDMI 1 and what Samsung have done is integrated an Android player. We have a bit of software on the Android player, air screen. We then have a bit of software on my Windows laptop I can then walk up to the screen and then connect in my Windows device wirelessly. If I then want to start to do some uh, annotations uh, to highlight a particular word, I can also do that. But this goes one step further. It also has the ability to connect over three other Windows devices. So if I disconnect from here, I can then quickly and easily connect in another laptop. In addition to the Android player, you can also walk in with your Windows laptop, going back to the traditional way of doing interactivity. Again, I'm going to use the quick menu button, I'm going to press the source button, but this time I'm going to press HDMI 3. And HDMI 3 is actually on the pen tray here. You can just walk in with your laptop, connect it straight to the, the pen tray here, and this has made it a very large uh, Windows-enabled uh, touchscreen. We can then load up our files, so here we've got PowerPoint, we have uh, a Samsung, a very intuitive Windows-based uh, annotation tool. So I can press uh, the ink, I can change the colors, change the thickness, and then I can add some extra indications and annotations to our PowerPoint. We can also do that in Excel. 
We can even annotate over the top of a browser. Uh, so if we're in a marketing meeting and we're discussing the layout of the website, we might say, you know, we want to move the logo across from here. But then the key part is capturing that information. So very simply, press on this button here. It captures as an image file. Uh, to a directory, and because we're already inside Windows, I can load up Microsoft Outlook, I can attach that as an email, and then we can distribute that so everybody's clear of what was uh, decided in that particular session. Another thing that we have uh, on our SOC is screen mirroring. This is just easily accessed through the source menu, so I'm going to use the quick menu button here, change the source, and as you can see, uh, screen mirroring is here. Wirelessly presenting stuff that's on your Android device, any applications that you've got, any videos, any PowerPoints, anything else that you want to present. Again, built in onto that SOC, so out of the box functionality. And then finally, we have the ability to remotely manage all of our screens. Someone might phone up and say, I can't get screen mirroring working or whatever it is. Here it gives you a software remote control so it's like you're standing right in front of it. We have uh, three available sizes, 82, 75, and 65 inch, and we're more than happy to come and show uh, the screen and all of its features on your premises.